a bumblebee my ocean video right there it won't leave It's springtime. It's the motherfucking real new year. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling sexy. I'm feeling confident. And we're gonna get right into today's video, okay? Today's video is giving, we need to go back to our dream talks. It's Pisces season. I know I'm catching the end of it, but baby, I wanted to bring back my dream talks because more than ever, especially with Neptune being in Pisces, dreams have just been coming back up for me. I've been being more intentional with my spell work and my rituals, the rituals that I'm doing. It's so much into today's video. But if you guys want a separate video on that, let me know, comment down below on how you can get deeper with your dreams, the different crystals, the glass in the water, you can use different herbs even. There's so many ways to deepen the connection with the spiritual realm so that your ancestors, your orishas, whoever is over you, your guardian angels, whoever is watching you over in the spiritual realm can give you messages and you can actually decode them, decipher them and figure out what's going on, What what is it giving? right so in my particular dream let's talk about my dream right and I have my little notebooks here I got my dream notebook and my note note notebook <laughs> so many notebooks anyway anywho um my dream right March 12th 2024 also side note what I've been doing a lot with my dream journal is not only just writing the day that the dream happens but also writing what was going on in the astros energetically what was happening was it in a water element fire so i took the note of neptune being in pisces and the sun was also in pisces and me being a pisces rising it's just so many ways that spirit loves to talk to me in the dream world tell me things in my dreams what's going on so in this particular dream if you've never seen the movie from i'm gonna put like a little clip so y'all can see what it's about but it's basically it's giving zombie it's another zombie movie i know uh we're tired of zombie movies i am very big on tv shows that incorporate the set did i say a movie it's definitely a tv show so from my dream was basically centered off of the tv show from it's like a psychological thriller twisted with like zombie apocalypse kind of vibe Megan, it's Grandma. Come to the window. But I'm not supposed to. It's okay. I won't tell. It'll be our little secret. Do you promise? I promise. And I would never break a promise. Megan, what are you doing? You don't look like my grandma. She's not your grandma. I'm so lonely. Baby, please just... Maybe I can come in. There you go! <laughs> basically about a small town that everybody gets trapped there and they're traveling from somewhere it's called that's why it's called from everybody's coming from somewhere and it's basically like they get into this weird funky area this weird spot where they see a tree fall down and then they're trapped they're in this loop that keeps looping in the same town they're just stuck there they're literally stuck in this portal there's so many bees around me right now this and it's so funny that the topic of this video is Oshun her energy is everywhere I love it so everybody in the town is literally either going crazy they feel depressed they just you know looking for ways to find hope to get the fuck out of there because they're trapped and at night let's add the extra layer of the zombies coming out of these weird ass cave tomb looking things and they're literally there to just 
attack you and they look like regular people but then they turn into like this crazy looking zombie kind of figure thing they get all like teeth and the eyeball it just looks really weird slimy it's crazy like if you have not seen that tv show definitely tap into i won't go too deep into that but i want y'all to get a feel about what the tv show was about because after watching it i had a dream and of course like when you watch things it's gonna be in your subconscious neptune energy piscean energy that's it's giving subconscious energy so it was definitely there but spirit was giving it a message to me in a way that made sense about what i was watching and all that they were basically connecting the dots so i was in the setting of from and i was literally in a home that was protected by the talismans of course and the different sigils because in the movie they had sigils that would protect them if you were you know trapped outside or you had to leave and go rescue somebody because so many different things happen people are coming into the town it's just so much and even in the dream it was a lot happening because i remember traveling with like a group of people and of course i didn't know any of these people like usually i'm able to decipher who is who in a dream or who this person is or who that based off their voice or whatever but i did not know anyone in this dream i did not know even where we were we started off in my house but then there's times where the zombie looking things can get into the house due to other reasons like it might be somebody else done did some shit you'll see if you ever watch the show it makes more sense if you watch the show but people can just do things and let the zombies in because they get you know in a mind funk they get depressed or they just you know the zombies start telling them things to let them in and they literally listen to them so somebody had fucked it up and we had to move and i remember the group of people that i was with started dying and i'm like yo what the fuck like i had to keep this level of confidence to say i'm gonna get out of here i'm gonna figure out a way to find success right because in a tv show it's the same thing they're basically doing different things all day you know looking for clues looking for signs looking for messages playing with different sigils in the movie they're doing so many things to get the fuck out of there literally and in this particular scene that we were in the people i was around started dying the last person that was with me tried to do some weird shit and i was basically like no and left him and i remember somebody in my dream just said you need to run and not fucking stop but the only thing is these zombies like they can't run so if you run you're gonna be okay but you got to figure out where you're gonna run to and in the tv show you can get into like trees trees are the way to get into like different pathways and for some reason in my dream like I don't know I wasn't trying a tree I just kept running because the person that was speaking to me in my mind was like just keep running don't fucking give up don't look back don't stop if you fall get up keep going and I was running 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 and I kept saying Oshun 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 so this is where we get into the title right Oshun visit me in a dream because if you know and obviously I'm wearing my yellow right and we've seen so many bees centered around me obviously the presence is here feel like I want you guys to really feel what I'm about to say in this next part of the clip but in the dream I'm in the middle of the woods and I'm just yelling oh shoon oh shoon oh shoon and I bullshit y'all not why I come to a row and there's a yellow bus and I get on the yellow bus and of course it's not a zombie because the zombies and stuff they can't drive like they literally don't know how to operate vehicles or none of that so it's like when I seen the bus pull up I'm like oh these some people for real that's coming to rescue me like I just was screaming out on Orisha and more than ever if y'all seen what I've been talking about lately and what I've been posting is a lot about sensuality and this particular Orisha that I'm going to be discussing is centered around the powers of love deepening the aspect with sensuality and self-reflection right and when we get into all the different patakis and the different odus there's so many stories that are out here and everybody's gonna have different perspectives right just like I'm gonna give y'all my perspective my journey right but I truly believe right when we think about the setting of that dream it being so dark I feel like right now we're just going through a very dark challenging time right especially when you're adding the layer of zombies we already know there's a lot of fucking shape shifting going on there's a lot of things that are happening people trying to take your energy take your light but I was reminded to a keep going don't stop if you've been feeling late like yo what the like you're going through a deep transformation because when we think of the dark too right when we think of the seed and the soil going into the darkness just to get my little garden layer here you know we're about to bloom and we're about to get our flowers back 
when you go into that dark soil and you plant those seeds and you say to yourself i'm gonna keep going i might not see anything right now and that particular part of my dream i could i don't remember seeing anything everything was like a blur i don't know if there was fucking trees that's why i didn't stop and get no fucking trees just said keep going keep going keep going and boom i got to the road and seen the yellow school bus when we think of the color yellow even self-confidence that ability to have that willpower the solar plexus there's so many ways that working with this certain orisha and this energy has taught me to keep going to never stop to honor yourself that divine reflection right because we get into all these different patakis like i said there is a particular one i've been doing a lot of research because if y'all know you know this energy has always kind of been following me even down to when i was having a hard time with my business right just getting very transparent Parent, catching y'all up to date here i was just having a hard time that darkness like i i truly feel that because there's some days where i'm not i don't know like i can't see anything i'm walking by faith i just know okay keep going people aren't following you okay whatever keep going you may not be succeeding here in this aspect okay whatever keep going all i knew is to keep going and there's so many ways when i had to rebrand my business and think to myself like how can i find passion again how can i find desire again to the ability to feel again in working with this orisha oshun there's so many odus that point to the fact that she had a story that was very very difficult a lot of people associate oshun with the honey but they don't see on the opposite side the vinegar that comes along the sour the part that we don't you know understand that we don't see oh she has all this beauty she has all this uh talent you know she gets a lot of the male gaze there's so much energy centered around her love and her beauty they don't think about the other side of it you know as with in so without right there's so many stories and so many patakis i could see her and list them out right so many different ways where we see the ability for self-reflection where they see we see the ability for growth and that is ultimately what i have been going through like i've been going through a very challenging time but spirit this particular spirit that is on me this journey this path that i am on right now is requesting that i get deeper that i have this deep connection and there is another um pataki from the odu ikafun i do know this one because i've researched it so deep because a lot of people see this particular deity as very vain when you work with this particular energy some people have have misconceptions right they have seen it as more vain or vanity right especially because she has the mirror the divine reflection right in the odu ikafun there's a paraki that talks about the orisha akarin okay this particular orisha is an orisha of reflection and there were so many orishas oshun was the only one that was not like crazy like oh my god let me see myself orisha akarin this particular orisha has the ability for our divine self-reflection right so many orishas wanted this ability they became vain they became very just kind of in their ego if we will and oshun was the only orisha that was like hey come to the river that's why the uh, orisha akarin came to the river she wanted to be protected right she needed to be shielded from the other orishas because they were just trying to utilize this energy for self-gain and not really deeply understanding the ability to self-reflect and what that is and what that can look like right so there are so many ways that this dream I was about to give up myself i kept running and i just kept calling out to this name it's so many ways that this is teaching us and telling us especially if your god is going through a time if you're listening to this video and you're going through a very very challenging time you're being challenged within maybe your body your confidence to be able to keep going to be able to have the willpower to continuously go along this journey right we can work with this particular energy we can work with this particular orisha because orisha Oshun Oshun teaches us how to deepen the aspects of love for ourselves, the love for our life, right? To be able to uh, create, as they say, with the vulture and the peacock, right? Creating something so terrible and still and still being able to find that beauty, to find that peace, to find so many ways that we can reflect and say, hey, I can open more space for love. I can open more space for growth, right? Because that is why this particular Orisha is centered with the mirror right that's and i'm gonna also put clips here that we see this particular orisha with the mirror and different um rituals and different celebrations that honor this orisha because there are so many ways that people will say oh that's vain or vanity but really it's an act of 
uh, beauty, humility, if you if you want to really get into it, right? But not to go too, too, too deep into that because that honestly deserve a whole video on its own. So let me know if you guys want more information about working with this Orisha, working with the energy, right, of glamour and what that really looks like because people don't know. They may see on the outside like, yeah, I've been glowing different, I've been shining different, but what I had to get through to get here don't know too once you have that divine reflection once you work with that energy of orisha akarin you have that divine reflection you then become a divine reflection for other people and they may not like what they see because it's them people got to understand when you showing up in your full confidence and your energy and you feel good and you feel good about yourself that may trigger other people that's also why a lot of people have misconceptions about this energy and what happens when you work with your sensuality you deepen that connection with yourself and you begin to glow different you begin to talk different you begin to move different you begin to conjure different let's get into it because my magic is different now now that i truly have went and studied when i say studied into my aura into my eyes i'm looking in my soul i'm looking and i'm truly digging out going deep into the shadows that work is powerful so comment down below i won't make this video too too long um i just wanted to basically open space for our dream talks again getting deeper with my dream that i just recently had and creating this timeless message really because i feel like in all ways especially for the woman i always of course i'm centered around womb work y'all know like i will always love womb work but there has just been so many ways looking back that this now this dream makes so much sense even down to when i lost the courage back then and i didn't know if there was gonna be a v's hidden gems at the time but then something came to me the bees it was a whole i kept i'm telling y'all kept seeing a whole bunch of bees at such a low point in my life and let's get into the story of bees because i feel like now it just the lines i know i said i was gonna stop but it just came to me right the bees even when you look at the anatomy of a bumblebee and you see it, it's just vibrating at its energy. It's going so fast. It's, and that big body it has with the little itty bitty wings, you ask yourself, how can it even stay up? That is a literal ancient cosmic information that is circulating. That is, so if you're around bees, if you find yourself, you come outside and you see a bee, like honor that energy. That energy, it reminds, that's why bees are centered around Oshun because it's just such a high vibration. It's a high high magical cosmic vibration that is happening it's quite literally divine communication as we see it as those little wings are flapping and they're just the flapping and the, and the bee is just flying around is it's a high vibration so immediately when i felt myself centered around so many bees god said to me i need for you to get real as fuck with yourself right now excuse my language y'all know me i'm gonna get real okay so if this offends you you know do what you gotta do okay but getting back to what god had told me god came to me and said i need for you to go by your real name bianca and god kept sending me all these bees god kept sending me and i just i had this immediate epiphany i was like i gotta change all of this right now immediately i went to gold bees even and i'm gonna put a clip here of how i rebranded my jars i haven't shown you guys in a while i have completely just rebranded and just took a refreshed outlook to what my brand is and really what that even means to me because there have been so many dreams i hadn't even told y'all about because i didn't know what it was meaning at the time like this dream talk video honestly it needs to be deeper like i gotta tell y'all more about the dreams that i've had there's so many dreams in this journal baby <laughs> about water waterfalls like i didn't i didn't know what it meant at this time but now it's all coming and and i even tweeted about this the other day guys oh i'm getting all the chills today i tweeted and i said when the student is ready teacher will appear so if you're coming across this video obviously spirit said that you're ready for this message you needed to hear this message feel feel i want you to truly listen of course with your ears but also listen with your temple your body feel how this may make you feel in your body because i'm feeling the chills right now i have it all right in my temple right now especially with me sitting with the sun 
oh, I just feel so good. But I wanted to share this with you all, um, down to the bees, down to my transparency moment about my business change and why everything is suddenly changing and my sensuality, my womb work. But it was always there. I even had elders that would come to me in my dreams. And I had so many ways that they were saying to me, hey, your womb is still heavy. <laughs> You're doing all this herbal work, which is good, which is great, but spirit needed me to get on a deeper, I needed to get on a deeper cosmic level that I now feel I truly embody. And that's why I opened so much space lately for sensual embodiment. Of course, I'm gonna always be a conjure girl at heart. I'm gonna always do my root work. I'm gonna always get, get a herbal tea or two or a three, right? I love all of that, but I feel like so many people are confused about my shift and my rebrand. So I feel like this video is gonna help make it bring all full circle, right? When you conjure from a place of truly understanding your self reflection right like the like we've been talking about in the video the way that you can attract the way that you will then be able to pull in through your magnetic abilities because you're so confident because you're so embodied with that energy you're just going to be able to call it into you like i truly i told myself at the beginning of 2024 with this dragon year I told myself that I was going to get deeper with self-love. I was and not that fake shit, not that peace, love, and like no, like that get into the mud. Like, of course, you gotta get the mud before the marble. Let's talk about it, okay? Baby, I was deep in the trenches digging that shit out. Cause that's exactly what it was. A whole bunch of toxicity. There's so many ways we have these mental right these mental beliefs this mental data that we have stored but there's also data we have stored in our physical body the only way to really become okay with it all is to embody it right on a deep fucking cosmic level man spirit kept saying depth it's time to really step it up it's time to really step your power and your energy up as we see from my dream all these zombies and all this killing people was dying honey it was so much going on left and right and that's why at the time i was so fearful and i just knew to run 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 but spirit said stop speak la lingua you can use your tongue the 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 ability that we have to conjure just with that dream says it right there the ability that you have to work with the mundane and still make that shit magical baby i want you to know if you're watching this video right now you are powerful and you can do all things with the tongue it starts with the tongue the tongue is mighty come on i don't want to make this video too 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 much longer also my camera is about to die but i love you guys so much if you haven't already Baby, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay, as we get deeper into just life, just pleasure, what all that looks like. Of course, I'm going to share it with you all, and I cannot wait to watch you all grow and to truly continuously grow and blossom along this path. I'm super excited. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.